Hey guys, it's Jelly or Angela and welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know yet, I'm a 22 year old first year medical student here in the Philippines. And for this video, it's going to be part 2 of my online class essentials. And it's going to be more about the non-material side of things that helped me a lot during the setup. So without further ado, keep on watching! Number one is to have a schedule. Now, this is probably the most important thing because it really helps you keep track of what you're supposed to be doing. And it helps if you really stick to it. Like, really stick to it. Which I kind of have trouble doing. Anywho, um, it would really be helpful if you make a schedule that feels like you're still going to school. Because the thing with online classes is, especially if you have a synchronous or modular type, is that your time is really in your hands and it's very tempting to be procrastinating. Having a planner or just a simple notebook where you can make a schedule would be extremely helpful or even use apps on your phone or in your tablet or whatever gadget it is that you use. Some apps that would be helpful would be up, Google Calendar, Notion, and Goodnotes as well, and of course the calendar app on your phone or on your tablet or iPad. So last semester, the apps that I used or that I stuck with would be TeamUp and Goodnotes. Now TeamUp is mostly for our whole batch. And for Goodnotes, I use the default uh, weekly calendar thing that they have, and that's what I use to do my scheduling, like when I'll be ha I'll be studying and when I'll have breaks. So that's what I did, and I'm gonna show it to you guys like right now. Um, so this is the the schedule here in Good Notes. So I'm just gonna sh flip through it for you guys. I have here my sip. I've already deleted the other pages, but I have here my October and then November. Planning. Oops, see, nothing there because I forgot to put some stuff there. And then I have my December calendar, like weekly schedule. So, and that's basically it. I color coded stuff, like green ones are for the activities and the assignments that I haven't done. This blue one here that says done is when I'm already done with them. I have this dark blue one. For the things that I have to study and the red ones are for the exams or quizzes that I'm supposed to be having and I have a pink one here that says vlog or self is that I schedule some of the vlogs I want to do self is just like leisure times that I really want to do that would take a lot of time like for example maybe painting so that's what I used last semester I actually have another freebie for you guys by the end of this video so you have to stick to the end of the video to find out Number two is have a to-do list. Having a to-do list helped me remember the things that I have to do or the things that I haven't done yet. And what I did is that I made a list on my GoodNotes app and, and that's what basically what I used. I also used the reminder app on my iPad which I'm going to show you guys in a bit. Here it is. As you guys see, I made some... I made lists here. And this is where I usually put what I need to do, such as my assignment or my reports, quizzes or exams, stuff that I have to study, and of course, reading assignments. And I also have a self tab or YouTube tab there as well. And I usually just put my reminders there and time them so that it would remind me give me an alarm or a notification that this is what I have to be doing or I should be doing at this time. Having a to-do list was very effective for me because it helped me be more productive and it kept me motivated because I found that taking things off the list was very satisfying. So. Number three essential is to ask questions. The thing with online classes is that a lot of the times we could barely understand what we're given. So it's very helpful if you ask questions. Such as when you're finding a question hard to understand or a topic hard to understand, you can ask your classmates or your batchmates or your professors and your teachers to clarify things. Fourth is that you have to take a break. Um, online class can be and 
stressful and downright just drains your energy and it's very important that you take care of yourself mentally physically and emotionally to get through it so rest even if it's just for five minutes so those are the four things that helped me during the online class setup and hopefully it will help you as well and as i mentioned earlier i do have another freebie for you guys and it's gonna be a weekly planner here it is it looks like the monthly planner so i just have the to-do list the notes a 2021 calendar let's wait for that to load there you go it's a pretty big file i just have a small calendar here i have five week a week stub here so here is where you can schedule the things that you have to schedule i'm gonna be having a more in-depth um video of the planner so if you want the monthly planner then just go on to the first part of this online class essential and you're gonna find the link there and for this weekly planner just head on down to the description box and you're gonna see it there that's that for this video thank you for watching bye